Yo, what is going on? This is That Guy Face with Face the Music Media. We are back again with another episode of How I Sin. In this video, we got G Force's OBE. Let's get into it. Oh, yeah. So, G-Force's OBE is a recreation of Oberheim's iconic eight-voice synthesizer, which was a game changer in the 70s and the 80s. This synth was known for its lush pads, massive leads, and deep basses, making it a go-to for producers. The original had eight individual voices, each capable of making a unique sound, and G-Force has managed to capture that complexity and warmth in this plugin. But before we get into that, if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and hit the bell for notifications so you can be notified every time we drop a new video and go ahead and hit the thumbs up if you enjoy the content also make sure you go to realloops.com that's r-e-e-l-l-o-o-p-s and cop the sweet fusion preset packs we got volume one and volume two dope presets handcrafted by me and the guys at realloops.com so you definitely want to check that out volume three is coming soon so you definitely want to stay tapped in with that but anyway let's go ahead and jump into it man all right so we are here in OBE. Let me go ahead and zoom out. I got it zoomed in, but as you can see, we have the eight voices here. You can program these each individually or you can group them together. Either way, you can make some massive sounds with this plugin. So I'm going to zoom back in. And so as you can see, we have the saw wave, the pulse wave. And if we come over here to VCO3, you could choose wave where you can come over here and choose the wave shape, saw, sign, or square, or you can go to noise and choose noise. So if you've seen any of my other videos, you already know I like to do the isolator detune. Let's go ahead and take a listen to that and see what that sounds like. So I'm going to come back over here, put these on saw, and then we'll slightly detune isolator too. So let's take a listen. Beautiful. So I have a chord progression that I played in the background. Let's take a listen to that and see what it sounds like. Let's turn that down a little bit first. Yeah. I love that. Sounds nice and rich. I'm going to sync oscillator two and oscillator one. And let's hear some frequency modulation. See what that sounds like. I love that sound in the Oberheim synthesizers. So let's take a listen to the chord progression with that. Let's go ahead and modulate that. So in order to do that, I'm gonna come over here to the mod and I only wanna modulate oscillator two. So I'm gonna come over here and go to frequency. I'm gonna come over here to oscillator three because I want it to be really slow. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna choose sine wave as the shape. Let's go to LFO rate on, turn that all the way down and let's take a listen.
beautiful. It just sounds like there's a voice in there just going crazy in the background. I love that. Anyway, let's take a listen to the filters and see what that sounds like. Let's take a listen to the envelope. So I'm gonna come over here to the modulation. We can leave that on envelope two, come down here. Let's take a listen to that. That sounds insane. So I think I'm gonna do something a little tricky here. So I'm gonna zoom out. I'm gonna lock the top layer. Let's come down here to the bottom layer. And what I wanna do is zoom in. I'm gonna set these to pulse width modulation. So I'm gonna come over here to pulse width for the modulation. And let's do this. Let's just take a listen to it. I'm gonna solo this layer. And let's take a listen to that and see what it sounds like. Now let's take a listen to both the top layer and the bottom layer, see what that sounds like. That sounds insane. I love that. So if you notice here, I have each voice panned. I'm going to take that a step further and use the vintage knob here. So it's not only going to like spread out the voices, but it slightly changes the values of each control. And so let's take a listen to that and see what it sounds like. That sounds fire. So I'm gonna mess with this portamento really quick and then let's mess with some of the effects.
beautiful. All right, let's come over here to the effects. Click that. We'll do effects on. Let's start with the delay and see what that sounds like. Let's lock the bottom half. Come up top. Perfect. So let's do this. Let's zoom at the top here. And let's take a listen to the delay. A solo the top half. Beautiful. Let's fool around with the reverb and see what that sounds like. I'm going to come over here, unsolo the top layer. Let's do this. Turn that delay way down. Beautiful. That sounds amazing. Anyway, man, that's the end of this video. You guys let me know what you think about G Forces OBE down in the comments below. My thoughts, yo, I think this plugin sounds amazing, man. It sounds fat and lush and humongo. So big to where you probably would have to EQ this out. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little bit overwhelming because it's so big. And I've noticed that with actual analog as well, like some of the analog synthesizers, they're so massive that you have to cut back because it'll just dominate the mix. So I'm getting that with this synth. And so you have to take it easy. The uh, OBE will, you know, clip out and uh, max out so you want to take it easy but the quality of the sound is fire i love it it looks intimidating when you first look at it but if you kind of view it the way i was doing it where all of these are just the same you're just looking at one voice and it's just multiplied it's really no big deal you guys let me know what you think down in the comments below man but yeah this is that guy face face music media if you have not already go ahead and subscribe to the channel go ahead and hit the bell notification so you can be notified every time i drop a new video and go ahead and hit the thumbs up 
if you enjoy the content. Also, make sure you go to realloops.com. That's R-E-E-L-L-O-P-S and cop the Sweet Fusion preset packs. We got volume one and volume two. Dope presets handcrafted by me and the guys at realloops.com. Volume three is coming, so you definitely want to stay tapped in with that. Also, make sure you go down in the description. Check out the Music by That Guy Face playlist. We got three singles so far. More singles coming too. And so you definitely want to stay tapped in with that. But anyway, man, this is That Guy Face. Face the music media. We out of here. Peace.